those students have asked my previous lesson uh, I'm editing those days because it was too long I have to edit and the time should be shortened to be sent through the YouTube let me show you the picture the diagram given in your text show me the respiratory system so can you see the diagram given in the text cow right kiyanna mata screen ekey peenawa the respiratory system ekak yes or no no sir mm -hmm. Can you see the diagram of a respiratory system on screen? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Respiratory system starting with nasal cavity. Nasal cavity. Nasal cavity. Here the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity. Then the, the buccal cavity is not belong to this system. Okay. Uh, from the, just after nasal cavity, the pharynx is there. Pharynx is a common organ for both. This common organ for both respiratory and digestive systems. Then uh, from the pharynx, the air blows to trachea. Trachea. At the starting point of trachea, uh, the sound box is there. That is larynx. Trachea is a windpipe. The larynx is the sound box. Trachea has vocal cords. When those vocal cords are vibrated during exhalation, I mean when we breathe out during exhalation, the sound generates. Then the, the trachea divides into two branches. They are known as bronchi, singular bronchus, plural bronchi. Each bronchi enter into two lungs. Lungs are spongy, uh, uh, spongy nature structures. These are two lungs. One, two. Here the bronchi. Left and right bronchi. Bronchi are further branch into small tubes called bronchioles. Bronchioles and finally bronchioles are open to bronchioles are open to air sacs called alveoli. Air sacs called alveoli. Alveolus is a singular, alveoli is a plural. In the, around the lungs, there is a rib cage or ribs. You can see the ribs there. Those ribs protect the lungs and the ribs are connected to a bone named sternum. Sternum is at the middle. Here the sternum. Rib cage and the sternum. Just below two lungs there is a sheet of tissue which, which runs across the body which separate thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity which is known as the diaphragm is present. Is a diaphragm. There is a curve in the diaphragm which can move. Those are the main parts belong to the respiratory system. Nasal cavity, pharynx, trachea, not trachea, trachea, larynx, then the bronchi, bronchine, bronchi, bronchi. Bronchialis and alveoli sacs. Alveoli are inside the lungs. Inside the lungs, the place where the gas exchange occurs. That is the human respiratory surface, alveoli wall. And apart from those main parts, ribcage, sternum, diaphragm, diaphragm, and the other. Uh, Parts are there. Don't draw on the board. And in the bar board decay. 
and it said unclear. Let's go to due to back. Apo we amu due ticketer. And label the parts of the respiratory system in the diagram below. You can label it now. Do it. Label the organ for us to. I think it's clear enough. Nasal cavity, pharynx, trachea, larynx. Then the sternum, then the bronchi is given, <coughs> rib cage, bronchi is diaphragm. But in this diagram, no alveoli sacs are shown. No alveoli sacs are shown. Right. Think that uh, you have finished. The initial part of the respiratory system is the nasal cavity. I told it. I draw the part of a respiratory system. Nasal cavity. Last word. Wind pipe. Trachea. And two bronchi. Can you see my video or oh, are you still in the previous screen? Can you see my video? I mean my drawing? No. 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 Right now you will be. Are you in now? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Nasal cavity or in our inside the nasal cavity there is a mucus layer. Always nasal cavity is wet, moist. I have to up the type because of the mucus. Mucus is there. And also a large number of ciliated epithelium or cilia present. Actually, the you know, cilia. What the function of cilia and the mucus? When we breathe in through the nasal cavity, those inhaled air may contain a lot of bacteria, virus, and other dust particles. We call them as foreign substances. Those dust and other foreign particles are trapped by the mucus and the cilia. Cilia has when you like movement. The cilia can act in a wave movement. They move towards one side. The path that they go to move. Are you the main? Who will get a who will get a boy and name in a way? Last of the week, I'll name an amino. Cilia will be no wave like movement. Because that movement and the mucus dust particles are trapped by them. Then the those collected dust bacteria and virus particles are. Uh, taken into the pharynx when we sneeze, sneeze out, they are removed to the environment, or when we swallow, then they go into our stomach and destroy. If I could put again a villa, a bit of kiwisum yana potter, nine iliatenoa, egatamamila suki and corona again, one of the disease related with the respiratory system. 
So uh, that's why we use a mask. When we sneeze out, the virus will remove to the uh, environment. Or otherwise, when we zero or we gill in a corner, we will throw it 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 in a corner. The functions of mucus or the ZD are in the nasal cavity. So uh, these two structures, these two strategies used to protect our lungs from those harmful things. Okay. Uh, what is the function? Question number four. What is the function of cilia in the respiratory tract? Any writing? Leanna? Cilia collect. Cilia collect. Bacteria and dust particles in inhaled air. Bacteria and dust particles in inhaled air. Inhaled air. I N H A L D. Ashwasakranavati inhaled air. Bacteria and the dust particles in inhaled air. It protects lungs from foreign substances. Same sentence. It protects lungs from foreign substances. Protect lungs from foreign substances. Foreign substances. Bahir Devalulin. Lungs are shakuna. Right. Look at the board again. When we breathe in, air is taken through the nasal cavity. That air blows to the pharynx region. When air blows in the nasal cavity, that air undergoes several changes. Yeah. One is already given. That is purification. The inhaled air is called purification, done by cilia and the mucus. Another change is and inhaled air is warmed up to the body temperature too. Okay. Third one, warming up to the body temperature. Warming up to the body temperature. So these are the three changes occur in the nasal cavity in an inhaled air. Uh, that is the answer for the next question. Purification is one of them. Moisture inhaled air is another one. Warming up to the body temperature is the one. Children, okay. now we have learned the parts belong to the respiratory system. Then we are going to learn the process of respiratory system. Respiratory, respiration or res, uh, respiration is a series of uh, biochemical reactions. So complicated reaction. Uh, for easy studying, we have divided into three stages. So we learn this system under three stages. Stages to nothing up in a gagnoa, igini me pasu sanaha. First stage 
I'll go for a new page. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Can you see a blank page? Yes, sir. New screen? Okay. It's a lot. Mute will add in a Omari. Thank you. Uh, Mom uh, Katakade. Presentation of vision is learned under three stages. The first stage is gas exchange occur in between lungs and the environment. Gas exchange occur that is uh, also known as external respiration. Second stage that inhaled air taken by the lungs is given to blood and carbon dioxide is uh, taken by lungs from the blood. So there is a gas exchange occur between the blood capillary and the alveoli. As I told you earlier, alveoli sacs, alveoli sac or the alveoli wall is the respiratory surface of human. So there is a gas exchange in the alveoli. Gas exchange done in the alveolar. Alveolus. Alveolus gives the oxygen to the blood and the blood gives carbon dioxide to the alveolus. Gas exchange. Third and the last day. That oxygen taken by the blood is carried to the living tissues for respiration. Where about the living tissues for the mitochondria? Mitochondria are you know, oxygen. Then cellular respiration occurs in living cells. Cellular respiration. That is the third step. For easy study, we have divided the process of respiration into these three states. Uh, you may write it for uh, you may write it for uh, question number mm, did I give it? I have forgotten to give, uh, ask that question from you. Uh, you can write it somewhere in the tube. The animaker the process of respiration, the process of respiration, process of respiration can be divided into three stages, can be divided into three stages, Can be divided into three stages. And write the stages. One, two, three stages. Stages only eleven. Matish Nuhansi, we can't hear you clearly. Still, can't you hear me clearly? Sanus Mava, clear. I am Nadula Mai. I am sir.
you can ask questions in the chat box i read chat box Right, let's move to the first step. Abiyamu, first step, the gas exchange occurs between lungs and the environment. Gas exchange occurs between the lungs and the environment. Uh, I'll show you a small video uh, as an introduction. I'm going to video you a now. I'm going gas exchange. I'm going to show you a little bit of gas exchange. Mechanism of, that is mechanism of breathing. Mechanics of breathing. Consciously take a breath. And... Mechanics of breathing. Consciously take a breath and think about the fact that there are 10 different muscle groups working together to make this happen. These muscle groups include the diaphragm and intercostal muscles. The main muscle used for breathing is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped structure consisting of several large muscles which is sandwiched between the chest cavity containing the lungs and the rib cage and the abdomen containing the digestive system including your stomach. The muscles that move the rib cage itself are the internal and external intercostal muscles. They are each attached to the ribs and run between them. To inhale air, the diaphragm contracts and moves down while the external intercostal muscles contract, forcing the rib cage up and out. The combined effect of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles increases the volume of the chest cavity and expands the lungs. This expansion of the lungs increases their volume, reducing the pressure within them, causing air to be drawn in. This action is similar to a piston sucking petrol into a car engine. In normal breathing, we use around 25% of our lung capacity, which is called our tidal volume. As you inhale deeply, the diaphragm moves further down into the abdomen, pushing your belly out, giving more room for the lungs to expand and draw in more air. This type of breathing is called belly breathing or abdominal breathing and is critical to prepare you for your free dive. Belly breathing allows you to completely fill your lungs with air. The maximum amount of air your lungs can hold is called your total lung capacity. With training, you can use more of your lung capacity. Okay, did you see the video? Yes. That one is Ramai? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm going to have a lesson. I'm going to have a textbook. I'm going to have a diagram. I'm going to have a screen. I'm going to have a screen. Gas exchange. What do you mean? Gas exchange between the lungs and the environment can be explained in two ways. These are known as respiratory movements. Respiratory movements. What are these two respiratory movements? Inhalation and exhalation. Or in another way, uh, inspiration and expiration. How it is? Simply breathe in and breathe out. In singular, Aswasa Saha Prashwasa. Aswasa Saha Prashwasa Kilapikino. Right? Uh, look at the lungs again. And the rib cage. Between the ribs, there is very important muscle type called intercostal muscles. 
those are intercostal muscles those intercostal muscles initiate this process intercostal muscles and in the diaphragm that's another diaphragm muscle type these are called diaphragm muscles diaphragm muscles during inspiration during breathing first those intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles are contracted when these muscles can especially when the intercostal muscles contract contract the rib cage moves forward and sideways and in the center ma beta ma diaphragm ek hadin na konna Uh, here the sternum and the rib cage by contraction of intercostal muscles, sternum and the rib cage moves forward and sideways both. Sir, same that the. Yes, sir. Then. Memang ada lagi ni, penuhane, sternum, apa sahaja, penat. Ah, ada lagi ni sternum, lepas tu ni rib cage, moves forward and sideways. Okay, and what happened to diaphragm? When diaphragm muscles contract, diaphragm muscles contract, diaphragm moves downward. And the curvature of the diaphragm reduces. Normally, it goes like that, curved shape. By the contraction, it moves down. Then the curvature is decreased. Now, by means of this muscle contraction, you can understand the volume of the thoracic cavity has been increased entirely. Volume of this thoracic cavity has been increased. Thoracic cavity means uh, the cavity beyond the diaphragm. Okay. Uh, in physics, in physics, when the volume increases, the pressure should be decreased. Therefore, the gas pressure inside the lungs decreases. Decreases than what? Decreases than the outside pressure, atmospheric pressure. Then always, from high pressure to low pressure, air blows. As a result, through the nasal passage, through the respiratory tract, air is filled in the lungs. Air gets filled in the lungs. Outside, atmospheric pressure is greater than the inside, the pressure of inside lungs. Outside to inside, air blows. Then the lungs are enlarged. That is called inspiration or breathing. A negative kino abhi, aswasa karnoa ki lakhi. Aswasa karnoa ki lakhi. Right? This process is an active process because for the contraction of muscles, ATP or energy is needed. Okay. Question number six. The last question in the first page. Gas exchange between external environment and the lungs can be demonstrated in two steps. Name these two steps. Write the first step as inspiration. Second step, expiration. Here what I mentioned is inspiration. Expiration. Then go for question number seven in the second page. Question number seven in the second page. Two respiratory movements of humans are given below. This diagram is given for you. Which one?
मैंने मेरे डायग्राम में करी लगी है ना वाम मार्स पे पेन ऑन ये द कैन यू सी द थोरेसिक कैविटी ड्यूरिंग स्प्रे व्हाट हैपेन थोरेसिक कैविटी ड्यूरिंग इंस्पिरेशन यस सर यस This shows that uh, the sternum and uh, the rib cage moves forward and sideways. The diaphragm moves downwards, and the thoracic cavity increases volume. So you have to explain it in this given space. Can you write this for question number seven? Let me start. Intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles in between the ribs. Ribs क्या ने इलाय तक क्या ने कर. In between the ribs. Between the ribs. Contract. Contract. हाँ क्या लेते हो? Contract. Therefore. Therefore, the ribs, the ribs, and the sternum, the ribs and the sternum move forward. Ribs and the sternum move forward. Sternum move forward. Move forward. Diaphragm muscles contract. Diaphragm muscles contract. Diaphragm muscles contract. And the diaphragm moves down. And the diaphragm moves down. Reducing its curvature, moves down. Reducing its curvature, moves down. Reducing its curvature. Last one. The volume of the thoracic cavity. The volume of the thoracic cavity. Increases the volume of the thoracic cavity increases volume of the thoracic cavity increases and the pressure decreases and the pressure decreases. Then, from high pressure to low pressure, then from high pressure to low pressure, air enters into the lungs. High pressure to low pressure, air enters into the lungs. Air enters into the lungs. From from atmosphere, Emilia. From the atmosphere. Yeah, it is the lungs from the atmosphere. So right, stop. This is called inspiration. Then uh, you can uh, draw a flow chart of air flow from atmosphere into the lungs by using arrows. बालों में अपनी बुलवाने के लिए हैं ना This is uh, how air flows from atmosphere to the lungs into the lungs uh, starting with the nasal cavity
went to where the air flows from the nasal cavity when it goes to the pharynx region. Pharynx region. From pharynx, it goes to larynx or the trachea. Windpipe trachea. Inside the trachea, the sound box larynx is there. Then trachea branches to two bronchi. Bronchi further branch to bronchitis. The bronchi can pull up. Then the bronchi open to alveoli sac. Alveoli sac, that means the lungs. Alveoli sac is locating the lungs. So this is the part of flowing of air when or during inspiration process. You can write it too. And on the screen, I'm going to leave for chat again. Yes, sir. No? Oh, yes. 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 Could you please switch off your microphones? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Switch off your microphones. Now, it is very easy to. Uh, Explain the expiration, the opposite process. Opposite of this flow chart. How breathe out is done. Expiration. Okay, write it. Uh, Amit Vinujana, so we can't send any messages to you through WhatsApp group, only the admin, yes, I have done it because uh, I know that you appreciate my effort, but uh, sometimes parents request me that they can't clearly see my messages. They have been jammed with your messages after a lesson you all send me thank you sir thankful like that so i have decided to stop messaging of others except admins eka karala thiyenne ogolange hondata ogolanta mama ewana messages highlight pela peyno nisa mama sa sunedha sir ita amathara pahuge dawasu tamara miss ehemat ewwa mokada godak teachers lagawa students lage database ekena ha man gawa thiyena godak numbers the see a few thousand sankhya of you know grade level godaka messages yawane mage whatsapp eka haraha e godak kiyawanna e nisa thamai puthe ogolo messages seven eka mama block karala thiyenne right admins during the time matai thawa eka dawu ekutai vitharai puluwan oyata mata mak hari kiyanna deyak thiyena nam mage me private whatsapp eka chat ekak karana ekak chat luwak ne man kiyawana ohewa उट
expiration. During expiration, those contracted intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles are relaxed. The muscles are not contracted forever. Contract and relax. Contract and relax. That is the nature of the muscles. Then the muscles, intercostal muscles, get relaxed. Relaxation of muscle is a dormant process. No energy is wasted. Therefore, expiration is uh, an inactive process. Eka inactive. Energy shakti value mag natusya. Inspiration tamai active process. Inactive in the tamai dormant dormant process. Okay. When the intercostal and the diaphragm muscles relax, relax, ribcage and the sternum moves backwards or they come to their original position. They come to the original position. You can clearly see in these two diagrams. The diagrams explain all expiration. Yes. In these two diagrams, the arrow Arrowhead shows how the sternum and the rib cage comes to their original positions. Then what happened to the diaphragm is diaphragm moves up and the curvature increases. Diaphragm is not a curvature very one like this. Diaphragm moves up and its curvature increases. Sternum and the rib cage comes to their original position. Because of that, the volume of the thoracic cavity now decreases. When the volume decreases, pressure inside the lungs, pressure of air inside the lungs, Volume decrease, pressure increase. Physics theory. Then, then the pressure increases than the outside pressure. Therefore, from lungs, air is given out to the surroundings. That air is blown out along the same path where it came. Up pardon a respiratory tract came up as that is breathe out yeah. breathe out breathe out uh, if we again if we uh, draw a flow chart that how air removes from the lungs to environment starting with lungs or alveoli alveoli Opposite part, huh? then to bronchiolus or bronchiolus, eh? then to the bronchi, bronchi to trachea, larynx. Pharynx, pharynx, to the nasal cavity, then to outside. This is expiration process. Let's write it. Yeah. Intercostal muscles and diaphragm muscles relax. Intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles relax. Intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles relax. Diaphragm muscles relax. Rib cage and the sternum. Rib cage and the sternum. Rib cage and the sternum. Sternum.
move to the original position. Move to the original position. Move to the original position. Diaphragm moves up, increasing its curvature. Diaphragm moves up. Diaphragm moves up, increasing their curvature. Increasing their curvature. Volume of the thoracic cavity decreases. <coughs> Sorry. Volume of their thoracic cavity. Volume of the thoracic cavity decreases. And the pressure increases. And the pressure increases. Pressure increases. Then the air removes from the lungs to outside. Then the air removes from the lungs. Air removes from the lungs to outside through the nasal passage. Here the nasal passage, which I draw in the board, through the nasal passage. Can you copy down the nasal passage during expiration? Remember that this is a dormant process, inactive process. Huh? So here we have finished the first stage of respiration what was it gas exchange occur between the environment and the lungs flow chart ekak anda ganna othana tube take ko mari idak wa gan note ekak ida gawam podak a ganna tapunchi message ekak thiyenawa i want to know really who participate my class when i check this list participant list i can see your names sometimes i can see your video but in some students the names are not given uh, they have some uh, strange names e gulanwa amuthu nam thiyenne a130 kila wetenawa galaxy kila de man ahala nae ehema nam meeta kali e nisa e gulana siddha wenawa phone ekey sari insert ekey hilla phone ekey ogolange full name ekka फुल I want permit. I want give you permission to admit my classes. Those who are not showing their real names. Namo penna neti phone si naay magbute admit karagani na hai taraven ni pa mukade me mama dalaga no no magi classes sole inne kaud kiya. Mama dalne ekhi ek namuri kaudu admit chala inno adhiya na. Insa karma kalo gona ke phone setin sote ki hilla dhanatta kagya ni haga na. ඕගලන්ගේ නම මට හයිලයිට් වෙන විදිහට තියෙනවා ගොඩක් අයගේ තියෙනවා කිහිප දෙනෙක්ගේ ෆෝන් මොඩල් එක තියෙනවා එහෙම බෑ ඔන්න නෙක්ස්ට් වීක් ඉඳලා ඒක හදා ගන්න එහෙම නැත්නම් මම පර්මිෂන් දෙන්නේ නැහැ ඇඩ්මිට් කරගන්න ඒ වගේ අන්නෝන් නේම්ස් තියෙන අය මම දන්නේ නැහැ ඇත්තටම කවුද කියලා මේ බී අනදර් සයන්ස් ටීචර් හූ ඉස් වොචින් මයි වීඩියෝ ලර්න් හවු ටු ටීච් සයන්ස් right let us move to the second stage of the second stage of respiration process of i told is a series of process second stage what was the second stage the gas exchange occur in alveoli gas exchange occur in alveoli api amu eki gena gan <coughs> to 
look at this diagram. In the text. Oh, 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 one second. Uh, I'll show you another before learning this process. It is an active process, active model, which we made in grade seven. Mother, can you me active model again? Mother, I know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Screening a pain order. Yes, sir. Yes. This is an active model which is used to demonstrate the previous process. What was it? Inspiration and respiration. Very simple. We all made this in grade 7. When you were in grade 7, uh, we needed only uh, uh, two plastic bottles. Two plastic bottles, two balloons, sometimes a single balloon is used, two balloons, a balloon membrane and a U-tube or a pen tube. U-tube or pen tube. U-tube or pen tube. Okay. Then as shown in the diagram, diagram again in the header, you can uh, prepare a setup. And uh, when the balloon, as shown in the diagram A, as shown in diagram B, starting with B, when the balloon membrane is pulled down, balloon membrane, what happens is two balloons are filled with air because the air enters into the balloons from outside. This is very similar to our inspiration inspiration so the balloon membrane which you pull act as a diaphragm see what happened to the diaphragm diaphragm moves down similar thing happened to the balloon membrane then the two balloons inside the bottle act as your lungs your lungs then the, the u-tube which the balloons are fixed act as the trachea that is Trachea. Okay, so this is very simple but active model. As shown in diagram A, when you push the balloon membrane in, balloon membrane can When you push it in, what happens? The air removes from the balloon to outside. That is expiration. Expiration. When you push the balloon membrane, the it, 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 it likes the diaphragm, diaphragm moves up and the two lungs collapse by releasing air to outside. This demonstrates the gas exchange in your lungs and the external environment. And uh, another thing to be reminded uh, during the expiration, expiration, when the air removes from the and rest of parts, on the galaxy, the galaxy, When the air is removed from trachea, removed from trachea, there is a tendency to collapse or to collapse the trachea. The trachea is collapsing the pool, hackling the pool. By preventing collapse, collapse of trachea, prevention of collapse of trachea. There are incomplete cartilaginous rings around the trachea. Even in the bronchi, you can see those rings. 
incomplete cartilaginous rings like letter C shape. Code is shared with you. Ma, how did you get paid on it? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes, paid on it. Ma, how did you get incomplete rings paid on it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, what cartilage? Hey, ma, letter C shape. Okay. Large number of such uh, cartilage strings could be seen around the trachea as well as the bronchi. The bronchi will it in all the through the other The reason is to prevent collapse of trachea during expiration. This happened during expiration. Incomplete cartilaginous rings. Cartilaginous rings. I have asked one of the questions from it. Mm, and go for question number eight in the tube. Explain how the following model is used to demonstrate resilience. I think you can write your Okay. Then question number nine. What is the function of the ribs in the thoracic cavity? Write the function of the ribs. Videos of Karagana. Write the functions of the ribs. <coughs> ribs protect ribs protect lungs ribs protect the lungs you know lungs are spongy structure they float on water what through the alveolar saxony what through the base of them mama lungs power in our Then the question number 10, there is a printed mistake. Structure not esophagus, it would be corrected as what structure is found around trachea. Around trachea. Trachea Around trachea. What is the function of it? Right? Incomplete cartilaginous rings. Incomplete cartilaginous rings. Incomplete cartilaginous rings. Cartilaginous rings. Pramidu Pavishan, Wagi video of Karagan. Incomplete cartilaginous rings. Write the function. It prevent. It prevents the collapsion of trachea. Collapsion can happen. It prevents the collapsion of trachea. Collapsion of trachea during expiration. During expiration. This happens during expiration huh? when the air removes. So the rigidness is disappeared. Rigidness can happen in the Okay, turn to the next page. Question number 11. Uh, you are viewed the inner structure of the larynx, our sound box. Explain how sound box sound produced here. Bomb the sound box again, sound decay heavy. Larynx. Classics of both the thoughts. Larynx classics of both of the thoughts. Vocal cords. During expiration, during expiration, expiration, vocal cords are vibrated. Vocal cords are vibrated by air. 
vibrated by air. <coughs> Sorry. And the sound generates. And the sound generates. So, children, our sound comes when we breathe out. Try to make sounds when you breathe in. You can't do that. Breathe in karna gamang balanda sadhya denadi kela. Breathe out the keta mai lung capacity ka take the sound de keli de. Right? Or we also surgery surgery ka create to a vocal cords or tama sounds in netu. Question number 12 I have already given. Let's move to the number 13. And let's see how the second process occur in alveoli. Mm, why can't we send any messages to you through like QOM? Sound is not clear. Sound again another? Does the sound not clear? Huh? Sir, sometimes. Sometimes. Now? Now is it not clear? Clear. 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 Now? Not clear. Yes, sir. Then I need unclear. I know it. No, I am using, I am using a small FM mic. Uh, Right. Finally, finally, uh, the air what we inhale reach to the alveoli as given in the diagram. Run my diagram again. Get this diagram. Bronchi or the bronchus branch into bronchialis. Bronchialis end in alveoli. You can see the alveoli or al air sacs at the end of bronchitis. Then uh, those are clusters of air sacs maybe I will have water malu, which are covered by red color blood capillaries. Around the air sacs network a dense of blood capillaries could be seen. Okay, and uh, you can see the cartilages too in this diagram. The cartilages of Padillo Penoa, alveoli, and Latino, and the clusters of Remini Pokuruani. Why they look like uh, clusters? It is an adaptation, a modification to increase the surface area for the efficient gas exchange. Increasing surface area. Okay, I'll draw. On the board, I may put on it now. I broke myself. Those are the clusters of air yeah, sacs called alveolus. Cartilages springs around the front colors. Then the red color, blood capillary. 
network of blood capillary makes around the alveolus or alveolar site. And I have used two colors to show blood capillaries. Why? Red color and blue color. Once the blood carries from the pulmonary artery, but that blood is deoxygenated blood, it would be it would be blue color. I have interchanged the two colors, doesn't matter. Uh, the blood comes from pulmonary artery, contains more carbon dioxide and less oxygen. That is called deoxygenated blood, impure blood. Deoxygenated blood or impure blood. Where do you part of it more Then the blood which leaves out from the alveoli sac, alveolar swelling area and the blood. That is red color. To where this blood goes, blood goes to the pulmonary veins. To pulmonary veins. This is come from pulmonary artery. Red color blood, it leaves from the alveoli sac, contain more oxygen and less carbon dioxide. That is called oxygenated blood. <coughs> so how this happened? That is the gas exchange in alveolus. When we breathe in, inhaled air contains more oxygen. Now the oxygen is in alveolus. That oxygen is given to the blood capillaries. Blood capillaries carries blood with more carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is given to the alveolus. All this thing happen in between the thin wall of alveolus and the blood capillaries. Both alveolus and the blood capillary walls are made by squamous epithelium, a single layered epithelium, single cell layered epithelium tissue. Across these two tissues, this gas exchange occurs. This diagram shows you that clearly. Alveolus diagram meka? Yes. Sir. Alveolus can singular. Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. The single alveolus shows how oxygen is given out from alveolus to the blood capillary and how carbon dioxide is given from blood capillary to alveolus. Red color oxygen blood, blue color, deoxygen blood. Not only carbon dioxide, but the water vapor is also given from blood capillary to alveolus. So when we breathe out, along with carbon dioxide, water vapor is also removed. Both carbon dioxide and the water vapor are two excretory products of metabolism, respiration, respiration. This is the thing happened in alveolus or alveoli sacs. The gas exchange occurs in the process of diffusion. The process of diffusion, you learn in grade 8 what diffusion is. Movement of particles, movement of particles through a semi-permeable, not, not a semi-permeable, movements of particles from higher concentration to lesser concentration. So, higher concentration of oxygen is in the alveoli. Lesser concentration of oxygen is in blood, earlier, in blood capillaries. 
therefore from alveolus to the blood oxygen is diffused on the other hand higher concentration of carbon dioxide is in blood capillaries and less concentration is in alveolus therefore carbon dioxide diffused from blood capillaries to the alveolus through the walls of the capillary and the alveoli sacs so the gas exchange occurs in diffusion process a gas exchange is a benne diffusion process uh, you may write explain how gas exchange is done in a bow structure api meka liyana konchi video ekata yana kohomada me gas exchange ekak wenne balanna start writing <coughs> sorry yana inhale the air finally reach to alveoli inhale the air finally reach to alveoli inhale the air finally reach to alveoli alveoli it contains more oxygen and less carbon dioxide it contains <coughs> more oxygen and less carbon dioxide or uh, in bracket you may write it as a oxygenated blood okay then right blood capillaries blood capillaries blood capillaries originated from blood capillaries originated from pulmonary artery originated from pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood single word carries deoxygenated blood that means a uh, blood with more carbon dioxide deoxygenated blood then gas exchange occurs gas exchange occurs gas exchange occurs in in between gas exchange occurs in between in between the thin wall of alveoli and capillary walls in between the thin wall of alveoli and capillary walls thin wall of alveoli and capillary walls last sentence oxygen is diffused from oxygen is diffused from oxygen is diffused from alveoli to capillaries alveoli to capillaries diffused from alveoli to capillaries and and carbon dioxide is diffused carbon dioxide is diffused from blood capillaries to alveoli from blood capillaries to alveoli blood capillaries to alveoli right then uh, uh, one student atapattu asks sir inhaled air wala o2 vitarada tiyenne no no 
inhale the air contains the entire composition of the atmosphere nitrogen is the highest percentage one but no change done for those gases in the lungs so when we compare the composition between inhaled air as well as exhaled air breathe in breathe out karana air se ka bhi compare karo when you get the percentage of gas you can see that inhaled air had more oxygen but exhaled air has less oxygen inhaled air has less carbon dioxide but exhaled air has more carbon dioxide and no change of nitrogen percentages of nitrogen and other gases other part two is it okay is it clear now yeah in some questions uh, even in some oral questions the comparison of inhaled air and the exhaled air were asked in few times so you may keep this in mind good question okay oy wage questions in ekata ogolu ahanna mama sare sare chat box ek kiyala ewata answers denna this is not like teaching in front of you in the classroom you may have so many questions next question is what is mean by respiratory surface what are the respiratory surface yet yani vela ganni sa api liyemu yanda the place where the gas exchange occurs the place where the gas exchange occurs the place where the gas exchange occurs gas exchange occurs then the next question asks what is the respiratory surface of man what is it walls of alveoli right as walls of alveoli walls of alveoli that is the respiratory surface of human some other animals have different respiratory surfaces and even they can respire through their moist skin Okay, so that is their respiratory surface. They also have lungs. Earthworm. They respire through their moist skin. The next question is by which process that the gas exchange take place? Which process? Diffusion. Single answer. Diffusion. The process. Diffusion. Diffusion. before watching that video uh give me 2 3 minutes to explain very important thing what what are the characteristics should be in a respiratory surface respiratory surface ekta denna ona characteristics mona paisa kuluwa kakela niya dawalo in any respiratory surface ha huh? This is not only for uh, the alveoli wall, but any respiratory surface. This respiratory surface should be, you know, this respiratory surface should be moist. Always, it should be, it should be moist. That's the one I have to go. And the respiratory surface should be very thin. Otherwise, no gases pass through it. The respiratory surface should be permeable for gases. Can't see the board? Can? Can you see the board, Nigar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Permeable for gases. What do you mean by that? Permeable of gases. Can I tell you, gases are not a young thing. They are not there. Rubbing for. Uh, removal or uh, intake of gases, so the respiratory surface should be moist, and it should be very thin and permeable for gases. And the respiratory surface should be highly vascularized. We are watching a mother guy on calling us again. Vascularized. Should be covered by a network of blood capillaries that is called highly vascularized. And the main thing is 
it should be a surface with high surface area. So our respiratory surface, alveoli walls, have all these characteristics. So our respiratory surface shows efficient gas exchange. Alveoli walls are moist. They are moist, wet. And they are covered by the thin epithelium. Permeable for gases, allowing for diffusion. Highly vascularized. You could see that earlier. And they are, they are arranged as clusters of air sacs to increase the surface area. All these characteristics could be seen in our respiratory surface. Uh, it is about, you know, it is about 70 square meters. 70 square meters, that is the entire surface area of alveoli sacs in both lungs of an adult. 70 square meters. One the meter has tail, you know, low surface area, the lungs, the cable, alveoli sacs, the Okay. Adaptations of a respiratory surface for efficient, effective, efficient and effective respiration or gas exchange. Let's move to that question two. What are the characteristics of any respiratory surface should be? What are the characteristics of any respiratory surface should have? Sorry, should have, right? One of them. It should be moist. It should be moist. Moist. gases Moist. Another one. Should be thin. Should be thin and permeable for gases. Should be thin and permeable for gases. Thin and permeable for gases. Permeable for gases. Another one. Should have large surface area. Should have large surface area. Large surface area. And another one. Should be highly vascularized. Should be highly vascularized. Should be highly vascularized. Highly vascularized. Turn the last page in your tube. Or look at that page. Uh, so here is the common characteristics of any respiratory surface. Let's move to the characteristics can be seen in our respiratory surface, in our alveoli sacs. Explain how human respiratory surface is adapted for efficient gas exchange. Write the first one. Alveoli surface is moist and thin. Alveoli, our alveoli surface is moist and thin. Alveoli surface is moist and thin. Moist and thin. Second one. It is covered by, it is covered by, it is covered by a network of blood capillary. It is covered by a network of blood capillary. Network of blood capillary. Third one. Alveoli sacs, presence of large surface area. Alveoli sacs have to come up now. How? A large surface area have a large surface area.
black surface area. And fourth one, it is permeable for gases. Gases are in the middle. It is permeable for gases. Permeable for gases. Right. That is a gas exchange, a second step of respiration. Gas exchange occur in alveoli. Let me see this video. Respiratory system. Can you see? You understand the process of breathing. Yes, Can you yes, see yes. the video in progress? Huh? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I don't know any feedbacks. Just give me answers directly. In humans, the main organs responsible for respiration are present in the thoracic cavity. In the thorax region, the rib cage and a dome-shaped fibrous tissue, known as the diaphragm, are observed. Present within the rib cage are the pleural membranes, which enclose the lungs. The right lung is divided into three lobes, the right superior, right middle, and the right inferior lobe. The left lung is smaller and has only two lobes, the left superior and the left inferior lobe. Both the lungs are associated externally with small tubular bronchi, which unite and extend into the trachea. The trachea has incomplete C-shaped rings of cartilage, which prevent the tracheal wall from collapsing. The trachea leads into the pharynx, which is connected to the nostrils. As we breathe in air, the oxygen molecules enter the nostrils and travel downwards through the pharynx and trachea to finally reach the bronchi. From the bronchus, oxygen travels into the lungs. Within the lungs, the bronchus divides repeatedly to form bronchioles. Oxygen travels through these bronchioles and reaches the alveoli, each of which is surrounded by a network of capillaries. A section of one alveolus shows the presence of numerous alveolar chambers with pores. Blood is seen flowing through the capillaries. The oxygen molecules from the alveolus diffuse into the capillary and then get absorbed by the bluish purple RBCs. This causes oxidation of the RBCs and a transition in their color from bluish purple to red is observed. The alveolus contains RBCs and carbon dioxide molecules. These molecules are released into the alveolus. The carbon dioxide collects in the alveolar chamber. And then from the alveolus, it travels through the bronchioles. Into the bronchus, which finally reaches the trachea and is breathed out through the nostrils. Summary. In the thorax region, the rib cage and the diaphragm are observed which play a vital role in respiration. In the rib cage are the pleural membranes, which enclose the lungs. <coughs> the right lung consists of three lobes, while the left lung has only two lobes. <laughs> The oxygen molecules and nostrils and travel downwards through the pharynx and trachea to finally reach the bronchi. 
from each bronchus, oxygen travels to lungs. The lungs, the bronchus divides repeatedly to form bronchioles. Oxygen travels through these bronchioles and reaches the alveoli, each of which is surrounded by a network of capillaries. As blood flows through the capillaries, the oxygen molecules from the alveolus diffuse into the capillary. This causes oxygenation of the RBCs. The carbon dioxide molecules are released into the alveolus. They are collected in the alveolar chamber, and then from the alveolus, it travels through the bronchioles. Into the bronchus, which finally reaches the trachea and is breathed out through the nostrils. Can you hear me again? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. That was the second process, including the first one. A gas exchange occurs in alveoli sacs. Let's move to the last uh, step of uh, respiration, that is cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration occurs in mitochondria. Mitochondrion is an organelle could be seen in any living cell. That is a powerhouse. Powerhouse. Okay. Mitochondrion. I'll uh, draw one of the diagram of mitochondrion here. Mitochondrion. like a capsule it has two walls the inner wall has been uh, infinite surface area as an adaptation for cellular respiration oxygen gas is taken by blood capillaries as well as glucose both carries by blood. Carried by the blood. Then the glucose inside the mitochondria get burns with oxygen. That is called oxidizing of glucose. By means of oxidizing process, Carbon dioxide and water are produced along with energy. Energy is the main product here. Energy is the main product. That energy is temporarily stored inside the mitochondria as ATP. ATP means adenosine triphosphate. It has three phosphate groups. Inside the mitochondria is called matrix. So all these biochemical reactions occur in matrix. Matrix, glucose molecules and oxygen are uh, in these two layers, and the inner walls are known as cristae. I can summarize the cellular respiration will take place in mitochondria in a word equation as well as in a balanced chemical equation. First, the word equation for cellular respiration. Word equation. Oxygen 
sorry. First, guess the substrate. Substrate in the blue cause oxidizes to produce carbon dioxide is a byproduct and water another byproduct along with energy energy is the main product energy is stored as or produced as ATP exothermic one of the exothermic reaction a lot of heat is given out during this process and it needs enzymes to Without enzymes, none of the biological activity is done. Okay, a lot of enzymes are involved in this process. That is the word equation for cellular respiration. Then the chemical balance chemical equation. When you write the chemical equation, you have to balance it. Blue call C six H two L. O6 plus oxygen CO2 plus H2O plus energy ATP by balancing one glucose molecule plus six oxygen molecules producing six carbon dioxide molecules and six water molecules. That is the balanced chemical equation for cellular respiration. So when you carefully analyze this, you could understand, you could realize that this is the inverse of what? Inverse of the chemical reaction of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide water used by the sunlight to generate glucose and oxygen. But here, but here, glucose and oxygen become the reactants. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and energy are products. Totally inverse reaction of photosynthesis that cellular respiration and uh, you are asked to write some answers for these questions question number 40 what is cellular respiration could you please write the answer what cellular respiration is then a respiration can name the series of process of the series of process may not be gonna get the water you know you can make a look at under act you know Okay, a series of process of oxidation of simple food, series of process of oxidation of simple food, oxidation of simple food, simple food to produce to produce energy to produce energy for biological activities produce energy for biological activities biological activities within the living cells within the living cells within the living cells within the living cells is called cellular respiration is called cellular respiration Right, then I have given both word equation as well as the chemical equation, balanced chemical equation. 
for respiration, you can write it down for question number 15 and 16. Then a uh, few students say that the video was lagging and slow. I told it earlier, that depends on your internet supply. My video in my machine, it runs fast and normally. The problem with your internet connection, when your internet connection gets slow and slower, the video lags normally, okay? It's in an unavoidable case, but uh, when I put this video into YouTube after editing, then you can uh, get the link and download it, okay? Oh, at the end of the lesson, I can uh, put the links of these few videos. I zoom again when I a problem at the videos. It's a large video. It's data ready. It's a very slow video. Mobile phones are in the same way. Okay, so we Right, both word equation as well as a chemical equation for cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. Finished? Right, then question number 17. The structure given below is where the cellular respiration occurs. In, the, in your tube, uh, one of the structure given. What is the given structure? Right as mitochondrion. 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 From a number two. How does the above mentioned structure is adapted for effective respiration? That means how does Mitochondrion is adapted. You can see the inner wall has been increased its surface area. It will be there a crispy surface area very good. By increasing the surface area, by increasing the surface area of the inner walls, by increasing the surface area of the inner walls, surface area of the inner walls. In a box. Then the third question: In which form that the produced energy during respiration is stored? Yes, somebody tell me in which form the in which form that uh, energy produced during respiration is stored? As what? ATP. Energy stored as what? ATP. ATP. Adenosine triphosphate, ATP, chemical energy. Adenosine triphosphate as ATP, as ATP. You know, uh, ATP is adenosine triphosphate when necessary. ATP breaks down into ADP. Releasing energy. That stored energy needs by cells for various biological activities. When necessary, adenosine triphosphate breaks into adenosine diphosphate. Triphosphate means it has three phosphate groups. Diphosphate has only two phosphate groups. That releasing phosphate group gives energy. So that is how ATP releases energy. ATP has many functions. ATP acts as an energy carrier. It can carry energy from one place to energy, another. It is an energy carrier. On the other hand, ATP stored energy temporarily. Stored enough energy. And there's another function too. ATP can release energy. It acts as an energy carrier. It stores energy temporarily as well as release energy when necessary. Three functions of ATP. ATP. Right, again. 
children, the cellular respiration occurs in two ways in the living tissues. Cellular respiration occurs in two ways. What are they? Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and the anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is the main thing. The main process. Aerobic respiration, large energy produced during aerobic respiration. During aerobic respiration, in Sinhala, if you need aerobic respiration means Savayu Sasaniya, anaerobic respiration means Nirvayu Sasaniya. Aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen. When there is a good oxygen supply. And glucose is completely oxidized, releasing more ATP. The reaction for aerobic respiration was given earlier. So what you have written earlier is the reaction for aerobic respiration. Okay. Uh, then for anaerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen or lack of oxygen. In the absence of oxygen as example when you are engaging in exercises or in the event oxygen supply for your tissues is over but the tissues demands energy then the muscles of mitochondria try to produce energy by anaerobic respiration but anaerobic respiration is why in animals during anaerobic respiration glucose is partially combusted producing lactic acid in living tissues plus ATP because of this lactic acid a severe pain is given in tissues. That is called muscle cramps. Before muscle cramps. Lactic acid accumulate in the tissues, giving a painful sensation. That is the muscle cramp. So lactic acid is a byproduct of anaerobic respiration. In the plant bodies and the some microbes like uh, yeast is very useful. In plants, if aerobic respiration, ethyl alcohol generates. You know, I'll have any ethyl alcohol. Anaerobic respiration in plants, glucose undergoes. Uh, respiration in the absence of oxygen producing carbon dioxide ethyl alcohol and energy This ethyl alcohol is very useful in microbial industry, yeast and some bacteria, some fungi, yeast is a fungi, uh, they can respirate without oxygen, they are anaerobic microbes, anaerobic microbes, even in biogas fraction, those anaerobic microbes are very useful. So anyhow, in the plant body, by anaerobic respiration, ethyl alcohol, carbon dioxide, and small amount of ATP generates in animals lactic acid and the ATP generates. So respiration, cellular respiration done in two ways. Two ways. Okay. Let's go to uh, finish off our tube. Mm. Question number 18. What are the two steps, two types of respiration?
right? First one, aerobic respiration. The second one, anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic. I know the mower. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes voice is unclear, yes. Anaerobic and anaerobic. Then uh, you are asked to write the differences of them. Uh, in one side, write uh, first write aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration. In other side, write anaerobic respiration. Muriliana aerobic Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration in opposite side. And under the anaerobic, uh, sorry, under the aerobic respiration, under the aerobic respiration, right, respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen. Respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen. In the presence of oxygen. Then in anaerobic respiration, right? Respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen. Respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen. Absence of oxygen. Again, in aerobic respiration, aerobic respiration, carbon dioxide water vapor and ATP produced carbon dioxide water vapor and ATP produced nothing else excluding heat uh, heat coma carbon dioxide water vapor and ATP produced under the anaerobic respiration under the anaerobic respiration in animals in animals Lactic acid, lactic acid, lactic acid, and in plants, and in plants, in plants, ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide are produced. Ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide are produced. In animals, lactic acid. In plants, ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide are produced. Last one under the aerobic respiration. Last one under the aerobic respiration. A large amount of ATP produced. Large amount of ATP produced. In anaerobic respiration, small amount of ATP produced. Small amount of ATP is produced. Small amount of ATP is produced. Then in question number 20, uh, children, uh, anaerobic respiration occurs in plant in a plant body is known as alcoholic fermentation as the alcohol is generated. And then only alcohol, it will alcohol in some age, you know, alcoholic fermentation. What is the alcoholic fermentation? Uh, you can write the equation relevant for that. The equation given in the board. 
glucose converts to carbon dioxide, ethyl alcohol and AD. That is the alcoholic fermentation. Alcoholic fermentation. Then the, the next question, what is lactic acid fermentation? Lactic acid fermentation means anaerobic respiration occurs in animals. <coughs> lactic acid produced in animals. You may write the equation, relevant equation for that also. Glucose converts to lactic acid plus ATP. ATP. That is called lactic acid fermentation. That is not true. Lactic acid fermentation. Right. The last question. Explain how muscle cramps occur. Now you know how it happens. You may write. When lactic acid accumulates, accumulates can be When lactic acid accumulates in muscles, when lactic acid accumulate in muscles, in muscles, due to anaerobic respiration, due to anaerobic respiration due to anaerobic respiration the muscle pain given the muscle pain given the muscle pain given is called the muscle pain given is called muscle cramp it's called the muscle cramp muscle cramp right that is all about the process of respiration but uh, the lesson is not finished yet we have to discuss the diseases associated with respiratory system it takes some time i have to do it in the next class Okay, uh, because uh, unlike other systems, diseases related with respiratory system is very important for you all. Because one of the disease, Corona, belong to this category. Many questions could be asked in your oral exam. Then I suppose this time respiratory system will be one of the question in your paper. I guess it. I guess it. Then, uh, thank you very much for participating today. And finally, I will uh, show you another video. After watching this video, we can wind up the class. My next class will be given through your WhatsApp group. Okay, please don't ask me, sir, when will be the next class, and when the password and the other uh, will be sent. I'll, I'll give it later. Okay, always. Keep uh, the WhatsApp group, our WhatsApp group in touch. Okay, then thank you very much. Here the video. This is a cellular respiration done in mitochondria. Sometimes this video may be slower like earlier. Our body is made up of trillions of cells. Mama, I know that I might. Oh, sir. 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 Oh, here, food is converted into chemical energy called ATP. ATP is released by the mitochondria, so cells can use it. 
Mitochondria consist of two membranes, an outer membrane separating it from the cytosol and an inner membrane surrounding the so-called matrix. The area between these membranes is called the intermembrane space. ATP is generated at the inner membrane of mitochondria by an efficient mechanism called oxidative phosphorylation involving several membrane protein complexes. Nutrients provide high energy electrons in the form of NADH, which are used by the protein complexes to pump protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space. This continuous pumping creates a proton gradient where the positively charged protons are attracted to the more negative matrix. When the protons re-enter the matrix through the ATP synthase protein complex, they catalyze the production of ATP 